woke up like this. And I felt like answering some questions. So we got a question from our buddy that lives in Greece. He says, I message you because I'm truly stuck in my life right now. Since the day I was born, I realized I only fit into sports. So I couldn't wait for the bell to ring when school was over. My parents, though, had a different opinion. So they kind of took everything away from me that I loved in order to get a fucking university degree, he says, in technology management. At that point, I'm not even responsible for my actions because I don't understand what I did wrong, you know? So I follow this career path, never had any money. I've been struggling alone in this deep ocean for more than 15 years trying to find my way, which is never coming. I know it is not something new to you, but I really need your advice, how to unlock myself. How do I find my passion again? They fucked me up. I don't want to work again in this dead end job with a boss yelling in my face without a specific reason. Please help, he says. Well, my Grecian buddy, the very first thing I'm going to do is congratulate you on choosing the exact challenges you need for your growth. I'm going to share with you a very interesting uh, idea something that is very resourceful, something that has been very helpful to me in my life, yet some of you might call it bullshit. Whether it's bullshit or not, it's very helpful. And that is that before you incarnated in this flesh, before you got to this planet, before you emerged from your mom's womb, you chose exactly the circumstances that you needed for your soul's progression. Your soul knows exactly or knew exactly what kind of parents you needed to have the challenges you need, what kind of country you needed to be born in to have the challenges you need, what kind of brothers and sisters and all the things that you struggle with in your life, you chose because it was for your soul's growth. There is no growth without struggle. It's on the same level as it is with weightlifting, as it is with your soul with your psychology, with your heart. You must go through struggle so that you can ascend, right? You have to break free from the limitations so that you can find yourself again. And so, congratulations once again. You chose these struggles. Take full responsibility. This is your life. Everything I hear coming from your mouth sounds like victimhood. They fucked me up. They made me. I had no choice. You had all the choice in the world before you got here, bruh. So the very first thing I would invite you to do is to embrace these challenges. Embrace this struggle. Embrace this heartache. Embrace all these things that seem to be derailing you because it is the exact path you need for your success, man. You see, if you were given different circumstances, if you were given different parents, if you were given different struggles, they would have been for a different soul. These are yours. Own them. With that being said, now you have to find your way back home. Mommy and daddy aren't going to give you your balls back. They took them from you because you wanted them to take them from you so you could find them now. So you're on your path to getting your balls back by breathing into them, my man. That's the path. That's what you're going to need to do. It is no curiosity, it is no wonder that you knew yourself through sports, you knew yourself through physical activity, you knew yourself through heavy breathing, through spontaneous movement, right? That's what sport is. All the elation associated with charging your body up and allowing it to go full speed in the direction of scoring a basket, scoring a goal knocking the shit out of a quarterback like I used to do. So now you're going to apply the very same principles that gave you the joy you had when you were young to achieving your goals in life. It is the exact same steps that you took when that bell rung. You say the bell rang and I couldn't wait to get outside. 
Well, guess what, bro? The bell is fucking ringing right now. Get outside. Get outside and start breathing. Start exercising. Start moving. You have to animate yourself. You find yourself not through books. You find yourself not through videos. You find yourself not through ideas and ideals or religion. You find yourself by descending back into your body. And you, my man, were lucky enough to have known yourself through your body. Think of those poor suckers who grow up with no athletic prowess at all, who never experienced what it's like to, to run and jump and to, to be athletically inclined. Whew. Sorry for them. They've got their own challenges. In fact, congratulations to them. They've got their own challenges. So you've got the tools you need, big man. Reignite your soul by reigniting the spark in your body. Get back into your balls. Done. Elliot said, Elliot. What?